Generally speaking, uh, users with disabilities and without, um, you know, sans serif fonts have been, uh, you know, recognized as easier fonts to read and digest uh, in electronic mediums and devices. Um, and sans serif basically means uh, that it's without ornamentation, like the little curves and fanciness that some of the fonts have. Um, so a serif font would be like Times New Roman. <clears throat> and those are actually, some say, easier to read in print form. But in digital form, sans serif fonts are easier to digest um, and process on digital devices. So sans serif fonts are like, Verdana, Tahoma, Arial, um, and it's, you know, you can use fancy fonts if they're like headings or, um, you know, titles of, of, of uh, documents or pages and such, uh, but don't use it as the sole font for the entire whatever it is. Um, and 12-point font is still kind of low, but it's it's a big enough font um, for documents. Uh, for PowerPoints, it should be over 30 for bullets. But um, for standard reading um, online, like web font 12 is pretty decent. Most people don't really know, but bold is a color and italics, like these kinds of decorative um, ways of emphasizing information, bold, italics, all caps, um, these are problematic because screen readers don't pick up on them. They don't actually have the kind of back code that things like alt text descriptions have. Um, they're purely visual. And so if you want to designate something with emphasis, like it's, it's important in some kind of way, you should always use uh, headings, like styles instead, um, because that'll tell a screen reader that that's something important. Some of the styles in Microsoft Word are like strong emphasis or emphasis or, and so that's how you should be, um, you know, assigning those kinds of words.